Todd. It's race day here for the 2022 Newport Bermuda. A 730 mile race straight to the Rocky Island of Bermuda for one of the oldest offshore sailing events in the world. On board for this event, we have myself, Justine Matro, and Amory Ross, kind of the normal squad or part of it. And we have big wave surfer Ian Walsh and big mountain snowboarder Elena Height, and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, we got we got a great forecast. Um, looks pretty windy, and we look forward to getting out of here. Three, two, one, and that's the signal. They are off and on the way to Bermuda. Four hours in, we had a good clean start, and we did four tacks, and now we're set on our course to Bermuda. Sea State is a little bumpy and rough because there's some short interval swell, but it is windy and it's fun. It's a lot better to be bumpy and fast than slow and boring. Moving around down there is like a freaking roller coaster. Use the handles wisely. Yeah, this has been the extreme opposite to what we did on our little training night. This is kind of what it's about though. Kind of going through some squalls. It's been a bumpy, fast ride, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Seems to have come up with an idea. We'll see how he goes. Elena, how do you do? I mean, I'm impressed. You shouldn't be. I should know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, still, I'm impressed. <laughs> Are you at least a little bit happy with yourself? Jack can't get here fast enough. <laughs> We got sirens going off, fiber optics, networks down, broken stanchions, broken winches. But you know what? We're just plugging away. So we're starting to see some big clouds outside, some convective activity. Yeah. Does that line up with what the models are showing and what's it mean for uh, the early part of tonight? We have a bit less breeze at the moment, around 17 knots. And, uh, probably in around uh, 60 miles we're, we get closer to the Gulf Stream, so at that time the wind will probably pick up. So we'll have to reduce the sails uh, again. kind of dancing right through a front and we seem to be on the other side of it but we're hoping to stay with the good part of the wind all the way to Bermuda so we're kind of tickling right around the edge of a front right now. That big squall we entered.
made its way up over the horizon. And we're gonna have a full day of this. Also, being in this cabin is like a constant state of a barrel. Whipping over. So, very much, very much like surfing. So, we got like 300 miles left, and the question I want to know is whether the novelty of all this is going on yet. I would say the novelty is more off at this point, for sure. I'm feeling the <laughs> no, I mean, it's still pretty exciting going fast, but yeah, we have about 100 miles left. It's just after midnight on our second night on very minimal sleep, but we are still flying on the foil. We've had a little bit of squally conditions the last few hours, so we've had some big wind shifts up and down. But we're a lot closer to Bermuda than we are to the East Coast. No, the novelty is definitely not off for me. I still, I don't, it just feels good going fast. But it's amazing to me, like some of the snaps you hear in the boat hitting the waves, I'm like, for sure this thing's gonna buckle in half right now. Almost every time I'm like, is the boat gonna break? And it just, Justine and Amo and Charlie don't even flinch. It's just normal pattern there to just flex this thing as hard as you can. Sleep's overrated anyway. take out the second reef in our mainsail and go back to the first reef and we're back to blazing in some lighter wind. As we're getting closer to Bermuda the wind has lightened up quite a bit but beautiful sunrise and we're back in the foil and moving pretty fast so we'll see the finish line shortly. Thank you for your country designation, sail number, and for this time we acknowledge your transmission. Welcome to Bermuda. Okay, yeah. Welcome to Bermuda. Good job, guys. 
That was, uh, that was something. Fresh air and sun has never felt so good. We made it. Bermuda right over my shoulder here. We just finished the 635-ish nautical mile race and crossed the finish line just before 7 a.m. And we kind of nailed the timing. We got to watch a beautiful sunrise as we approached Bermuda. And now we're sailing our way into harbor. Stoked we made it here safely and the boat's intact, the people are intact and what a mission that was. That was so much fun. Yeah, I mean this, in a, uh, an offshore sailing race, totally out of my comfort zone. Definitely not something I had ever expected to do. Um, really honored that I got to do it with this crew. They were amazing. Um, I had some doubts in myself, mostly about getting seasick, but I did okay and uh, hopefully managed to help out here and there. Would I do it again? Um, maybe. Maybe I would do it again. Pretty comfortable trip, but uh, I think uh, our guests, Elena and Jan, they managed to survive pretty well, <laughs> so it's been nice and uh, fast to come here. I can barely think. I haven't I know, slept in three way. days. Next is a giant meal that's hot and a cold beer. Not in that exact order, but those two things are next. <laughs>